Shalom, shalom to the family. Street baptism back with more knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that we believe comes directly from the Father through His Son, Yeshua, or Yahusha, or Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Whichever pronunciation somebody decides to use is all right, according to the word of God, as long as you call Him on the name of the Creator or the name of the Father in, in the reputation. Call Him on the Father in the name or in the reputation of His only begotten. That's a fact. Praise God. Much love to the family trying to follow in the footsteps of the Messiah in truth and sincerity by way of humility. Street baptism back with some more Bible archaeology. Here we're looking at the Galio inscription or the Delphi inscription as we get right into it. The Delphi inscription or Galio inscription, as we skip the parentheses, is the name given to the collection of nine fragments of a letter written by the Roman Emperor Claudius, who ruled in between 41 and 54 ad or ce which was discovered early um my fault by the roman emperor claudius in 52 which was discovered early in the 20th century or in the 1900s at the temple of apollo in delphi greece mm -hmm. here's this place the temple mm, with with either six or seven pillars still standing i can't remember but i do see six right there here's a fragment praise the father with a name at the Delphi Museum. Um, now let's look at the text. Here's the text. It says the reconstruction, the reconstructed inscription begins thus. This is what's written in Greek on this inscription. Tiberius Claudius Caesar Augustus or Kaiser Augustus Germanicus invested with tri tri tribunician power for the 12th time acclaimed em imperator for the 26th time father of the fatherland. For a long time, I have not only well disposed towards the city of my fault. I have not been only well disposed toward the city of Delphi, but also solicitous for its prosperity. Praise the father. That's what he's saying here. It's beautiful that they was able to make this out. And I have always guarded the cult of the pot. Pythian or Pythian Apollo, but now since it is said to be destitute of citizens, as L. Unius Gallio, my friend. So Gallio is mentioned by Claudius Caesar in this inscription. In these findings, my friend and proconsul recently reported to me and being desirous that Delphi should retain intact its former rank. I order you to invite well-born people also from other cities to Delphi as new inhabitants as they try to make this city prosperous. That's basically uh, one of the main points or the main point of this letter. Mm -hmm. It says the reference to proconsul Gallio and the inscription provides an important marker for developing a chronology of the life of Apostle Paul by relating it to the trial of Paul in Achaia mentioned in Acts, my fault, in the Acts of the Apostles in Acts chapter 18 and verse 12 through verse 17. So this this Gallio is mentioned in Acts chapter 18. We about to read that real quick. Here's more Bible archaeology. Here's more proof. Praise the Father. We confirm our faith in many different ways. Um, what am I looking for? Acts 18. Acts 18 and 12. It says, And when Gallio was the deputy of Achaia, the Jews made insurrection with one accord against Paul and brought him to the judgment seat, saying, This fellow persuadeth men to worship God contrary to the law, not contrary to the law that's in the word or in the Bible, contrary to the law that they was adhering to at that time. And when Paul was now about to open his mouth, Gallio said unto the Jews, If it were a matter of wrong or wicked lewdness, O ye Jews, reason would that I should bear with you. If it was something deep that y'all was bringing this man to me about and y'all had actual proof and y'all could provide details, I would bear with you. But if it be, but if it be a question of words and names and of your law, look ye, look ye to it, meaning I'm not about to have nothing to do with this. For I will be no judge of such matter again. Of, of such matters so like, again i am I'm not trying to have nothing to do with this and he drave them from the seat of judgment because he wasn't trying to have nothing to do with that it wasn't important enough for him then all the greeks took Sosthen sosthenes the chief ruler of the synagogue and beat him before the judgment seat so they then they took this man and beat him he was the chief ruler of the synagogue and gallio cared for none of these things and gallio just made as if it didn't happen while he was there so this is gallio being mentioned in the word do we have any other mentions of gallio my fault 
Do we have any other mentions of Galio? Oh, shoot. Nope, just, just in this chapter. At least spelled like this. Acts 18 and 12, 18 and 14, and 18 and 17. So as we go back to this inscription, this is a finding. Let's go back. The Delphi inscription or Gallio inscription is the name given to the collection of nine fragments of a letter written by the Roman emperor. Claudius, which was discovered early in the 20th century. So we know that Gallio, at least in 52 CE, was the deputy, deputy, as it says in the word, and I believe he called him the proconsul. The proconsul in 52. Let's see. A proconsul was an official of ancient Rome who acted on behalf of a council. Pro meaning before. A proconsul was typ typically a formal consul. The term is also used in the consul as somebody uh, related to council, as it sounds like council, speaks on behalf of, um, has meetings, etc., etc. The term is also used in recent history for officials with de delegated authority. Mm -hmm. In the Roman Republic, and here's Scipio Africanus, one of Rome's greatest commanders was a proconsul during the Second Punic War. He was one of the few proconsuls who did who did not first serve as consul. So here we have um, more information about Scipio Africanus that many brothers don't you know know about or go into. Not as if it's that important, but just to just to say this is him, and we find out he's a pro he was a proconsul. It says in the Roman Republic, military command or imperium could be exercised constitutionally only by a council. What? Oh, these three, my fault. These three things, military command or imperium, or these two things, my fault, could be exercised constitutionally according to their law only by a council. There were two councils at a time, each elected to a one year term. So that helps to better date the chronology of what's happening specifically um, in the book, book of Acts 18 that we just read. If the proconsuls only serve a one year term, it says they cannot normally serve two terms in a row. So this usually didn't happen. This helps us to date to date with this letter. And when Paul was brought before the judgment seat of Gallio mm -hmm. and he was brought before the judgment seat of Gallio in Achaia. And what is Achaia? Achaia, when you look into Achaia, as we see here, Achaia, that is Greece, a country of Europe. In the restricted sense, as it gives you the definition, meaning trouble, the merit maritime, meaning near the water, region of northern Peloponnese, Peloponnesus. In a broader sense, it was a reference to a Roman province embracing all Greece except Thessaly. So it depends on the context specifically, but it's basically Greece or a region surrounding or including Greece. This is what a K is. So we can date Paul being in Greece. Praise the Father by knowing um information about proconsuls and how long they served mm -hmm. and looking at this letter so with that being said this is some more bible archaeology praise the father um as we again confirm our faith and confirm it more and more and more as we come across people who say the man wrote the bible the white man wrote the bible Shakespeare has something to do with writing the Bible. The Paiso family wrote the New Testament. The Old Testament is a put together of Egyptian stories with a little bit of tweaks or nuances here and there. It, none of it is true. We prove in the word every day. Praise God. And with that being said, I'm going to say shalom, shalom to the family. Street baptism out.